Hi there, everyone. Jeff C. here again on Wednesday, October the 8th. Remember, we'll do it live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern on Red Pill Revolution. Now, of course, here I am on, guess what, CNN's YouTube page. CNN, go there! Go there! There's uh, our good friend Wall Street Aaron. There's uh, a man poor, a poor man here. And uh, there are little characters. And there's Ted. Oh, it's Ted, but he's younger then. Still thinking about the buffalo, though. Um, but this caught my eye. <laughs> Where have we seen this before? Oh, you can't make this shit up. This is why I tell you about the green shirt, why I always go on about how they're using the green shirt, the green colors to program your mind, right? Fear-based mind trauma. The fact that the only pictures of Thomas Eric Duncan, the man with three, he's got more names than he's got shirts. <laughs> the guy who has a total of one shirt in his wardrobe and they just so happen to have a black man that almost looks identical to him in the same color shirt. Go fucking figure. Let's check out this video here and see what I'm going on about. Great news this morning, just over the last few minutes, in fact, about brand new steps here in the mm -hmm. United States to keep Ebola out of the country, or try to at least. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. to start screening passengers who are entering the U.S. from the Ebola zone, those are the West African nations where thousands of people are mm -hmm. stricken with the deadly virus. Yeah, we're getting new information about the plan to protect America. We want to bring in our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth. Hey, Hang okay, so on a sec there. So uh, let's just talk a little bit about the coloring here again. This is all done on purpose. CNN is the government, okay? Don't kid yourself for a moment. Of course, she's got that green color mixed in her shirt. And then, just as it switches to the... Oh, watch here. Right there. What do you see? Ebola. The green, right? The, the toxic green color. The fluorescent green color popping up everywhere where else is it oh it's down here and it's wait a second here let me see if i can fit all that in no i can't uh move that over here yeah look at look at the green coming in down here yes that's how they do it folks it's exactly how it's done none of this is by chance it is all done by design okay medical correspondent elizabeth Cohen. okay so elizabeth hot off the presses Tell us what we know about and you notice she's wearing almost like a doctor's uh, or a nurse's type, uh, what do you call that, uh, about it, jersey. It works, and more importantly, when it's going to start. So, Michaela, we hear that this additional screening is going to start either this weekend or next week, and it's likely to be announced today that this is going to happen. So the way that it would work is that passengers who came to the United States and originated in one of the Ebola-stricken countries would be taken off into a separate screening process and what will happen is is that they'll get their temperatures taken not with a thermometer in the mouth but with a device that's pointed at the temple I ah. used this device <laughs> when I was in Liberia and leaving the Monrovia airport on September 26th and so it's not painful it's just not painful very long at all and so they'll take it's the uh, very psychological so right you were in West Africa did you have any contact? think about this think about this as I say, it's all by design. When you do this long enough, when you've been covering this kind of stuff as long as I've been covering, you see things that ordinary people don't see. This is all by design. They're holding a gun to your temple. Okay? You understand that? To take your temperature. The psychological conditioning that's happening right here, the fact that people are allowing themselves to have someone else take a gun-like device and hold it up to their temple, just is more more mind control it is absolute total you know surrendering your personal rights your personal body over to the authority it is more conditioning that's why the colors are so important the uniforms the, the stuff that the people are wearing you know every every little thing means something they don't leave things up to chance this is psychological conditioning the fact that they're using some sort of gun to take your temperature and they have to point it at your temple <laughs> tells you what you need to know with an Ebola patient did you attend any burial there you go. and also after right to your head right to your head there you go how do you feel how do you feel having a uh, government holding this thing up to your head 
I don't know. Would you trust it? Who do you know what they're doing with that thing? Who knows what they're doing? Experiencing any symptoms of Ebola, and even if you're negative on all these things, no temperature, no, no nothing, they're going to ask how they can get a hold. There you go. There it is. The right. There it is. The green shirt, right? That we know so well, right? And wouldn't you figure, right? This is how it's done. There's no way on earth this is by accident. There's no way. And if you're arguing that below, you're either a shill or a fucking idiot. Okay? Or both. I mean, I guess a lot of shills are idiots too because they're so stupid they don't realize how they're being played as well. But uh, that's how it works, folks. And CNN, nobody does it better. <laughs> nobody does it better than CNN because... They are nothing but propaganda. That is all CNN is. All CNN is is mind control. It is the establishment. It is what you are supposed to fear. It is what you are supposed to think. It is what they want to program you with. This is why the fluorescent green shirt, the toxic shirt, right, with the black African is being used to program your mind into fear of Ebola. This is all fucking bullshit. Thanks for listening. Leave your comments below.